Hi guys, and welcome to a very exciting video because it is going down. And what I mean by that is I really hope to get everything in order. I feel so behind. Our baby boy is due at the end of September, okay? And so much, so much still needs to be done. I have this really weird habit. I've always had this where if I have like a huge task, such as getting ready for the baby, I I start out I start out with a throttle. Is that even a, I don't even, <laughs> that's, that is literally not a sentence. Basically, I come out of the gate very fast and I, I get like boom, 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 things done. And then I take a break. And then suddenly I open my eyes and realize, oh my gosh, I'm actually behind on all of the other things. It's like I trick myself with the first things into thinking I'm ahead. And then I'm just kicking my feet up as, as I, as I really should be doing things. So, with that being said, this is what I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> this is the state of the nursery. I don't even know what is in this crib. I feel like I've just thrown everything in here. He's got all of his clothes, which like, I don't even remember or know what clothes he has. I'm confused, but I know step one is going to be to wash the clothes. And yeah, like, we'll just go from there. <laughs> wash my very first load of baby clothes it is really nice how much you can fit in there because they're so small but i'm gonna have to do uh two loads of that but i just want to be so honest right now and this just like goes to show the state i'm currently in and like but the thing is i know i'm not alone like right now i'm googling do i need newborn clothes because i was just going through everything and i realized i don't have any i'm guessing i'll need them but also i have some that say zero to three months zero implies newborn maybe i don't know and that's one of the things i feel like a lot of people are like don't worry like you'll be fine like you don't need to do any research like it's just instinctual like trust your mother instinct on everything but no there are so many things that are not common sense or instinct for example knowing the difference between a sleep sack and a swaddle and when to transition to this and that like this is, th there is no common sense here. Like there is a right and a wrong answer and I, I was not born knowing it. So I spend most of my days Googling pretty stupid questions. Oh, this is interesting. Typically newborn sizes cover babies in the five to eight pound range, while zero to three months fits children eight to 12 pounds. And here lies the issue. How many pounds will my baby be when he's born? I have no idea. He has a measuring bag. We have a growth scan coming up, like our final scan, I believe. And in my head, I'm about to pop out a 10 pound baby <laughs> based on some of these, some of these ultrasounds I've, I've gotten like it, like he's just always measuring so ahead, but yeah. Can you tell <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, slightly neurotic. <laughs> Another example of a foreign object coming into the household. I present to you guys the diaper genie. I have no idea how this thing works. These are the garbage bags, I guess, maybe possibly. Oh, whoa. And then you'll end up pushing this trash bag through the hole. Okay, diaper genie is set up. I realize I could probably just use a regular trash bin for this, but whatever. Sometimes you just gotta be a little fancy. I also set up his changing table. I'm very confident and happy with this choice. It is the skip hop changing pad. I like that it's the wipeable material. I don't want cloth. I could just picture that being just an absolute mess. So much laundry. And this price actually wasn't so bad because there were some of them that, oh my gosh, I was having a heart attack with how expensive they were. And by the way, I can link all of these items below, all of the items on my baby registry because so far I have been happy with everything. Also, I don't think I've shown you guys a little update on some of the decor in here. I put all of the books for my baby shower up and they look so good. I'm so excited to read these to him. And for the dresser, I got these uh, drawer dividers, which are such a must, I feel like, especially with how small the baby clothes are. And I can link these below too, obviously, but so easy, so simple. And it kind of just like molds to your dresser size. Okay, this is a prime example of something I would have never known I needed. It's basically a little spatula to apply cream on your baby's butt. And apparently people swear by this. All right, time to fold and organize my first mound of baby clothes. If there's one piece of advice I can give to moms to be out there, it's to organize the dresser and just the nursery in general as early as possible because 
I can't even begin to tell you how out of breath I was from this. And you might be watching this and thinking, from what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All I know is that my lungs just don't work the same way they used to, like the littlest tasks. I am just like huffing and puffing. I was going up and down a lot of stairs with this laundry, but now I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like justify it. But yeah, moral of the story, just do it as early as possible because once you get in the third trimester, things just don't feel the same. <laughs> The next morning we went to puppy training class because preparations aren't just happening in the nursery for the baby. I mean, we we have some work to do with Asher. Obviously, he's an amazing puppy, but at the same time, he's a puppy. And I, it's not that I don't have high hopes. It's not that I don't have high hopes. It's just that I'm being realistic. I don't necessarily think it's going to be the smoothest of transitions for him. And this is just part of the territory when you bring home a two month old puppy and then find out you're pregnant a week later. So obviously, I mean, not obviously, but we would not have gotten Asher if I knew I was pregnant. <sighs> I am so grateful every single day that we didn't know I was pregnant because he is the best thing that has ever happened to me. And like, I do think eventually he's going to be a good big brother, but no, it's not like, he's not going to, no. I just know like, it's going to be one of those things where we actually have to separate them and put like really big boundaries in place because as much as like we want this to be a movie oh my gosh like they're gonna fall in love and cuddle every night like the, it, that's just like actually not gonna happen <laughs> and obviously we need to protect our other son our son that hasn't been born yet because at the end of the day like asher is a dog and at the end of the day asher is right now he's nine months old he's gonna be 10 months when the baby gets here but obviously i am doing everything i can to make it as smooth as possible <laughs> how could you not fall in love with it like are you kidding me i just went out to the store and bought the cutest blanket ladder from kirkland's i actually saw this a few weeks ago ah like had my eye on it wasn't sure and then i went back today to get it because i just love okay well actually the biggest thing i love this is actually not that expensive compared to some of the blanket ladders I've been seeing. So I love the price, but also I love how like rustic and just like natural it looks. So I'm going to try to style this. I feel like blanket ladders like never end up looking as aesthetically pleasing as people hope. But honestly, more than anything, it's just going to be so practical because homeboy has a lot of blankets and this boy is still not sure about this whole thing. <laughs> day another delivery but i am particularly excited about this delivery because it not only includes 10 muslin burp cloths and pacifier case but the most exciting thing of all we've got kids hangers i've been waiting on this delivery for days and like that doesn't seem like that big of a deal i mean first of all obviously i could have just gone to target but it got back ordered and i didn't realize it was getting back ordered so i've been waiting on this and it just like destroys my brain when I have a task that I so badly want to get done. Like I've just really wanted to tackle all of his clothes. You guys saw I did the dresser. I'm going to be showing you more of the dresser organization and what I ended up doing in a bit. But the, the closet, it's just an absolute wreck. We've got all of these hanging, of course. The little guy always by our side. But yeah, I've just, I really wanted to organize everything. I also got these really cute little, um, dividers i mean more than anything more than being cute they're so practical because it has seriously just been like making my brain explode organizing all of these clothes and trying to figure out what goes where but today i'm tackling the closet and i am so excited I'm just giving myself a moment to catch my breath, which I feel like I keep referring to this in vlogs. And I mean, if you watch the vlog, it all sounds normal. I can't even begin to tell you guys how many times I have to edit out myself, like just gasping for breath when I'm just talking. They're so practical because it has seriously just been like making my but yeah, load of laundry in the wash. I am like, oh, just, it's finally hitting me the amount of laundry I am going to be doing from here on out, like forever. Like until, until like, I don't know what age I would make my kids start doing their laundry. Maybe like around 
I don't know, like high school, I think would be an appropriate age. I don't know, but like, ugh. I've just been uh, setting up and playing around with some of the gadgets. And I did want to mention, if you are new to this whole motherhood thing, I mean, I'm not even a mother yet, technically. I mean, I know technically I am, but like technically, come on, like I'm really, I'm, I haven't done anything. Okay, like my body has, but like my, I have not done anything. But if you're new to this whole like mom-to-be thing, I was so overwhelmed when it came to baby products. I still am. I'm looking at like just this giant mess behind the camera that's strategically placed behind the camera. And not only is just clutter stressing me out, but it was also stressful from a financial point of view of like, what? Like I need all of this? And like, I'm, I'm not a minimalist by any means, but in life, like I really try not to go crazy. I mean, for example, like when I really almost had a heart attack was when I saw the price of a snoo, which is like a bassinet. And listen, some people swear by it, but that was a little disturbing to me. So there are some things I went the more expensive route on. For example, this Hatch um, noise machine. I could put the price here. Like to me, it just felt pricey for such a simple device, but so many people swore by it. I liked the fact that you can, and I'm still in the middle of doing this, like hook it up to your phone. I just thought I would go the more expensive route for this. I mean, it's still not like crazy, but for example, I also have a portable sound machine that seriously, I think I bought for like 10 bucks. But then when it came to my baby camera, I, I still haven't set this up, but I, went with a less expensive one. And yeah, I just think you just have to find what works for you. It also really is the wild, wild west when you are a new mom, just because you've never done this before and not to mention your baby's never done this before. Your it like certain things like truly just might not work for your baby, whether it's a type of swaddle or a sleep sack or I don't, I don't know, just so many things might not work for that individual baby. Diapers I know is a big thing but you don't know until you try. I don't know why, but like this feels so creepy. Like it feels so invasive. Obviously I need to be checking in on this guy, but like I'm sure the man would like some privacy. Today I've just been out doing some boring adult things like getting my oil changed, returning clothes, just boring stuff. Too boring to put in this vlog. But now I am at the Mecca, AKA my second home, Target. I feel like if you are a new mom, you, you know, like this is just, this is where you go because, I mean, first of all, the prices are great. And then second of all, this is just where I go as an alternative to Amazon. I decided to register at Amazon. My reasoning was like every single thing I need is on there and you get the free shipping. So for the convenience factor of, I'm sure, you know, when I have a newborn, like you can't just pop in the car and, and go to Target. Oh my gosh, that was actually kind of sad. Like this is one of my last carefree target runs oh my goodness but i figured amazon like really made a lot of sense for the newborn stage because if you don't know you get a 15 percent discount on all of your registry items and you can just keep adding them for up until i believe for me like it expires in december so maybe it's like two or three months <gasps> oh my gosh who am i calling but yeah, you get to do it like for a few months, even after your due date, which is amazing. Like that's where I plan to get diapers and just all different things. But I'm coming to Target today and it's it's not even like exciting stuff. Like I feel like everything I have been buying, it's not like, for example, I haven't even bought baby boy one cute outfit. I have bought him all of his sleepers, all of his like just plain onesies that he'll sleep in. But I just haven't felt the need to buy him like cute clothes because other people have bought him that. Whereas I feel like I'm the one buying like the diapers and like the not so fun stuff. I mean, by the way, people have purchased that for us too at our baby shower and all of that. But like when it comes down to it, like obviously like I, I'm like today I'm, I'm buying storage containers. <laughs> like This isn't really that exciting, but it's necessary. And I am just feeling, oh my gosh, guys, like so much better than when I began this vlog. When I began this vlog, this video, I was just like, how am I ever going to get everything in order? And I still have a, you know, a long ways to go. Not, but not that long. Like we're, we're making things happen. I'm feeling good. So let's go get these items at Target. Is this what it's like to be in your late twenties? Because as much as I'm downplaying this trip, like, oh, I'm just here for some storage. There's nothing more exciting to me. Like, are you kidding me? Like, what? These are so beautiful. Oh my goodness. What I really want to do is just get ahead of, for example, this will be where I'll store all of his clothes. So as he outgrows them, I just put them in here and I just think it'd be great if it could just be all set up, ready to go instead of having to figure this out as it happens. So I think this will be enough for like his first year of clothing. He doesn't have that much. I'm back home and now I'm going to do another round of organizing. I feel like my life lately is just laundry organizing, laundry organizing, laundry organizing, but 
اقول لحم حليب I don't think about it. I am feeling so good about where everything stands. Guys, I can't even begin to tell you how just overwhelmed I have been these past couple months. I mean, first of all, just having a blank nursery and trying to decorate it. Like I, I just was like, this is just not for me. Like I can barely decorate my own house. I am so happy with first of all, how everything looks aesthetically, like how I feel in here. That is what I cared about the most. I wanted this to be a place where both me and my baby feel calm and happy. And like, I, I knew like how I wanted to feel. I just didn't know how to execute that. And I think it's safe to say I did. Based on my standards, by the way, I really need to emphasize that. Obviously, we all have different standards, but clearly I went with a little bit of a jungle safari theme. Very subtly, though, like I didn't want it to be anything crazy, but I did a little jungle safari in here. This is the only thing we need to remove those. We're not doing curtains there. I just don't think we should cover up the dollhouse window. So instead, my dad is actually going to be building shutters. So. That's something that's gonna happen once he gets here. But I did get the crib and the chair from Pottery Barn Kids. Obviously I can link all of this below. That chair, by the way, oh my goodness. Comfiest chair ever, believe me, I sat on a million. It is so good. I like the fact that it does um, automatically recline. A lot of people brought up a good point that some of those like manual recliners, I guess is what it is. I don't know what you call it, but basically they can wake the baby up. It like jolts them. So yeah, I went simple on the crib. This is a decal I got on Amazon for like, I don't know, $10. It looks so good. Like it seriously looks like we painted that, which obviously we did not. I also set up the baby monitor, which we might eventually end up mounting, just depending. Cause I don't know, I feel like once he starts standing, he's gonna be able to like, rip this down somehow. I mean, it is on there pretty good, but we'll see. These prints are from Etsy. Side table is Target. I also set up the hatch machine, which I think I'm really going to love. I love, love, love this setup. Like the mirror, the bookshelves, the dresser, like that is just, yes. And I love like all of the pops of color that are coming from the books and the blankets and Ash, that's not for you. Like I said, my goal was to add pops of color with like some of his toys and just some of the things I knew I would be adding as opposed to like obviously more neutral furniture. For the diaper caddy, this is gonna change. I'm gonna continue adding stuff to it, but I've just got diapers, butt paste, spatula, his nasal aspirator, his picker, nail file, aquaphor, a swaddle. I am gonna put in a pair of clothes in here because I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of times he needs a change his pacifiers will go in here maybe a couple of them eventually wipes and then baby monitor in this cute little compartment is where i'll keep his medicines and then i actually rearranged this drawer since the last time you guys would have seen i realized i'm actually going to keep all of his like extras for wipes and diapers and all of that in his bathroom i've got all of his newborn diapers these are like the cutest things ever like i can't believe it like He's gonna be wearing these. I feel like I'm like meeting like the future president or something. I can't like, like I feel like I'm meeting a celebrity. Like I'm preparing to meet a celebrity and I'm just like, I can't believe it. Like he's gonna be like in our presence. <laughs> I don't know, I'm a freak. But in this drawer, we've got his cute little socks. Are you kidding me? His bibs, some of his mittens cause babies tend to scratch themselves or so I hear. I love how I'm acting like I know anything. This is like a little hodgepodge. We've got pacifier clips, pacifiers, these cute little finger puppets that my aunt gave me that are gonna be so cute. Um, various wires for his devices, like his aspirator. And then I'm leaving certain areas empty because I feel like I'm going to need them eventually. And I just don't know yet because I've never had a baby. So leaving a lot of empty spaces in this drawer, we've got clothes and I decided to label all oh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, am I not paying enough attention to you? But you're like really cute though, so I should probably. <laughs> oh my gosh, you know what it is? I just put, I just put like this little puppy thing on the camera mic I've never had before because I got a new mic and he thinks it's a toy. This is actually dangerous. It's not a toy for you puppy, but you're still cute. But I wasn't sure if labeling would be like overboard or anything. However, I realized like this is so necessary because I mean, first of all, all the clothes like look the same. How am I gonna remember? But more than that, Zach, like obviously he's not the one putting these away, so it'll be easy for him if he's changing his clothes, picking him out new ones, he could be like, oh, perfect. Uh, short sleeve, zero to three months, long sleeve, three to six. All this cute little newborn, which I didn't get that many newborn, just cause I feel like who even knows 
if he'll ever wear newborn some babies don't just because they're big so we shall see and then i still need to purchase a lot of his clothes for like for example he has no short sleeves six to nine and still purchasing a lot of clothes but what makes me feel good is having a space available for them like i already have it labeled ash are you really ash this isn't for you okay it's not for you it's not for you you have so many toys it looks like his rabbit i think I think that's what he thinks it is. Ashy, Ash, Asher, it's okay. But I feel good having like the spot for it laid out. And then in the last drawer, we've got all of his loose swaddles and his bath gear. Then as for the closet, up here I have like his um, extra sheets, extra mattress pads for his bassinet, also for his crib. And then the theme that you will notice running throughout, empty baskets just because I'm sure I'll accrue mittens and hats and just various things and here's his little wardrobe so far you guys need these I don't know what I would do without little organizers because how else would you know the size so everything is categorized nicely I also put his sleep sacks and sleep swaddles like the halo Merlin sleep suit uh, love to dream on hangers just because it's easier for me to see the sizes that way it was like impossible when they were folded and then he has this cute little robe that Zach got back here. Various toys. I'm sure we will accumulate a lot more. I mean, really, when I say toys, those are mostly <laughs> Asher. Oh my gosh, this is insanity. No, Bubby, it's not for you. Um, those are mostly just like loose books and all, his laundry basket. And then this is his storage for when he grows out of clothes. I think it'll just be so much nicer to be able to put it away immediately instead of being like, what do I do with it? And then eventually we will hopefully be having picnics and that is his picnic blanket. And this little boy is just so excited. It feels so good to be sitting in here and have this room basically complete. Like we're not 100% there, but we're we're in the home stretch, especially cuz I feel like this boy, this baby could come like any single second. So we really we I mean I still have a lot more to do like sterilizing bottles and the car seat and the stroller and the list goes on, but just sitting here and having this room in the shape it is in feels so good. And oh my gosh, like one day, I mean, not one day, like literally like, like coming up, like coming up here shortly, I'm going to be sitting in this chair with my baby in my arms. Cause technically I'm with my baby right now. He is there. He makes himself known. He's been sitting on my bladder all day. So it's like kind of hard to forget that he's there. <laughs> um, but Oh my goodness, I am so excited. So be sure to subscribe if you're not already to follow along this journey. It's gonna be a journey, all right. It's definitely going to be a journey. And I just hope to be like honest and open about every single aspect of it. And I just have no idea what the heck to expect. And I'm just so, so, so excited to meet him. Like so excited, like, oh my gosh. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.